Hello my YouTube family and welcome back to another video. Today we are making chicken hoagie egg rolls. So of course you need to start with chicken. I'm using chicken tenderloins and what I'm going to do is use my little chopper or food processor to uh, grind it up into ground chicken. Now you can buy ground chicken. That'll probably be easier and faster. This is what sis had up in her refrigerator this is what sis had on deck can't go out to the store right now so you gotta use what you got to get what you want so now you will see me um about to just use my little handy dandy device that i act like i don't know how to use and i'm just gonna grind up my chicken and i'll show you the consistency that it should be if you go this route Okay, so this is what you want your chicken to look like. I know it looks like a hot mess, but it is all going to come together. Trust me. So now I'm just going to finish grinding up the rest of my chicken and I'll be back. All right, so you definitely want to have you a hot skillet. Get your handy dandy trusty favorite little skillet out. Get it nice and hot. Add a little oil at the bottom. What I'm about to do first is um, saute my veggies. That's going to go in my chicken egg rolls. And here are my veggies. I got some onions. I got some green peppers. I got mushrooms. And I have banana peppers. So first I'm going to add on my onions. I'm just going to gradually be adding in my um, veggies slowly, one at a time. them up you really don't want to cook them till they're super mushy you kind of want to have them al dente because don't forget we are just going to reincorporate these back into our chicken when that's done then we're going to saute it then and then we're going to deep fry it when it gets into the when it gets into the egg rolls so um just get a slight little um cook on these veggies and you should be all set
do at this point is of course give your veggies a little bit of flavor I'm starting off real light because as you will see I season my food or at least this dish I'm gonna season all the way through you want to build up your flavors every step of the way you want to season to be. I'm just going to cook them probably for about two or three more minutes and I'll be back. Okay, here is the next step. No need to wash your pan out. Keep all those flavors right in the pan and toss your chicken white right on the pan. Um, it does look like dog food at this point. It looks like some dog food. I promise you, it is your grinded up chicken. And it will form into beautiful crumbles as soon as it's cooked, you'll see. So now you just want to kind of separate the chicken a little bit. And you also want to what? Season up your chicken. Now some dishes absolutely just calls for Laris. Like some dishes you cannot create without using your Laris seasoning sauce. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it lightly with a little bit of Laris. And of course, come in with my favorite seasoning. My favorite complete seasoning. seasonings are nice and incorporated you chilling grab you a nice adult beverage let that chicken do what it do come back to it it's looking good now you see what i'm saying how it formed into the crumbles it looked at a hot mess to begin with but now you see where i'm going with this so the chicken is looking like where I need it to be. I'm just gonna like chop it up a little bit finer and we should be all set. Mikey.
So now it's time to bring everything together. Let's dump in our sauteed veggies. And let's also add our final seasonings to this. Um, what I'm going to use is a little bit of A1 sauce. I find that this just gives these egg rolls a, a, just a, a kick. Uh, just a flair that I just love. So I'm just going to sprinkle on a little bit of A1 sauce. I'm also going to come in with just a, a dollop of mustard because that gives it like a little twang. You want that twang when you bite into this egg roll. And then I'm also going to add about a half a cup of water. And I'm back with the Lyries. Another seasoning that makes this dish really good is a steak seasoning. Give it a few dashes of steak seasoning as well. Build up the flavors, build up your flavors. And I'm also going to sprinkle in um, some granulated garlic as well. to do it's just time to incorporate everything together it's time to stir it up toss it up mix it up Now at this point, this filling is good enough to eat by itself. Just eat it by the bowl full. You don't even need to stuff it in an egg roll, it's so good. I really wish you guys could smell my kitchen right now. to do give it a taste you know season this to your liking when I tasted it um I wanted to add a little bit more steak seasoning so I did okay so we good right now so now it's time for the best part and that's the cheese part. So, I'm using two cheeses. Um, the first cheese is going to be a pepper jack. Um, the pepper jack is just gonna give it just a little extra kick. Use the cheese of your choice. This is the cheese that I like to use with my chicken hoagies. 
Now your cheese is nice and melty and ooey and gooey. Now it is time to stuff these bad boys. Now, I'm just working with your average egg roll shells. Nothing fancy about it. Just egg roll shells you can find at your local, local grocery store. Um, I'm going to use two shells. You can use one. You can use three. You can use four. I'm going to um, use two for these hoagies tonight. And I'm going to lay down some American white cheese. Yes, we did melt cheese already on these hoagies. We used some pepper jack. I'm laying down some American white because cheese is dope. Cheese is awesome. Cheese is spectacular. Cheese makes things taste great. Now, if you don't know how to fold an egg roll, the instructions is right there on the egg um, on the egg roll wrapper. They actually include like a little piece of uh, paper that um, tells you or gives you a demonstration on how to fold egg rolls. Pretty simple. Just a few folds. You want to seal the uh, edges with water. It just it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty cut and dry. So now I'm going to just roll these bad boys up and we're going to get them ready for the fryer. Now I have my beautiful egg rolls frying in the grease. Just looking amazing. And they don't take long at all. They really don't. They take maybe about five minutes. And here you guys have it. The finished product. Chicken hoagie egg rolls. My way. As always, I thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.